I'm Ryan Innes and I'm another Beijing. I spent 13 years in the Royal Barbados Police Force. I said Royal Barbados Police Force because back then it was the Royal Barbados Force is now the Royal Police Service. So um, I know it as the Royal Barbados Police Service. Um, I never went from the rank of constable. Um, throughout my time, I used to just go there, do my job to the best ability, and I was happy with that. Um, in 2018, that's when I decided that, you know what, I was turning, I think it was just before my birthday, and I decided then that, hell, you know what, at the age 40, I don't think I want to work for anybody anymore. And that's when I made the decision and took the risk to leave the Royal Barbados Police Force to come and do what I am doing today, where I am the director of the Marizero Sanctuary. Um, I remember my colleagues back then saying to me, Ryan, you sure, no, well, they said, Ryan, they said, Ennis, you sure that's what you want to do to go and run a zoo? I said, boy, that is what I want to do. I know it's a big risk, but I said, you know what, you're going to be getting paid as much as we get getting paid now. I said, well, one thing that my father Earl Weeks always tell me is don't chase after money, go after your passion. And up to this day, that is what I follow, my passion. So I decided to make that, that step at first, the first, within the first year of running the sanctuary. I ain't gonna lie, it was not a bed of roses because I was not getting the income that I used to get from the police force. But I stick it out because I had the support. I had the support one from family who keep me grounded. I would say, well, listen, you know what? This week, Ryan, I'm buying a bag of feed for the animals for you. So even when the income was not coming in as it should back then, I had family who would say they can buy a bag of feed to support the animals. So I always, again, from young to, I always had that support of my family, so I gotta give thanks for them. My father, the late Earl Weeks, always had exotic animals. I don't know where you get them from, but I remember back in the day, my father had iguanas. My father had all kind of different parrots, where those things were very rare around Barbados. That is, we talking, we talking back in the 80, we talking back in the 80s, around 85, um, 87, that my father always had all kind of different exotic animals. Well, nobody in Barbados has something called gerbils. My father had those things. Again, I don't know where we get them from. So I always grew up in that kind of life. So I was never a dog fan. I was never a cat fan. For me, I guess I had the exotic kind of blood thing in me to always want exotics. And that's how Marizero Sanctuary was created. Because I find that there were lots of persons who had exotics here on the island and they will let them go when they either become too big, too aggressive, or just bored of them. So I that's why I decided then to, let me start taking in these animals and give them a second chance. Instead of they're out there destroying the ecosystem of Barbados, let me give them a second chance here at Marizero Sanctuary. There were lots of animals that came into the, the island illegally and at either the seaport or the airport that were euthanized. So then these animals, sometimes the authorities will call me and say, well, do you have a, a, a setup for this place that these animals can live on? Cool. So that's basically how it started. And then I had people who would donate animals then here to me. And I have a support, supportive family. Where is in that? My mother, um, she's retired, great Innes. She's retired, but she still works here. She still, all the green that you see around the sanctuary, my mother takes care of, she has a green thumb. So all of the plants, all that stuff um, she does, prune the plants, she would come up here and take off every little dead leaf um, to make sure all the flowers are watered, all that type of stuff my mother does. My wife, she does the administrative work when it comes to 
accounting and that type of stuff. My family now, the other side of the family, like my brothers, um, they do lots of marketing for me. So I have, there's a sister company, which my eldest, um, eldest sibling operates called Earth Mother Botanicals. So it's a cooperation between Earth Mother Botanicals and Mari Zero Sanctuary. So she basically does lots of the advertisement with Earth Mother Botanicals slash Mari Zero Sanctuary. I look forward to making this place a better place for educating um, the Barbadian public on what we have here. I'm Ryan Ennis. I'm a father, I'm a husband, I'm a caregiver, I'm a proud tourism player and another Bajan. <laughs>